To get started, I just added two clips to my timeline that I'd like to fade to white. Let's begin by going over to the effects library. In the toolbox, go to Video Transitions. Select the Dip to Color Dissolve effect and drag it to the end of the clip you'd like to fade to white. Then select the transition on your clip and go over to the inspector. Now the default color is already white, so that'll work fine, but if it isn't, select the color and in the pop-up, select this basic white color in the bottom corner and hit OK. Alright, now while my clip fades to white, since it's at the end of my timeline, it also fades back to black, which I'm not crazy about. If you're okay with this, you're all set to go, but I'm going to fix it by undoing adding the transition. Now let's go back to the toolbox and select Generators. Drag the solid color generator to the end of your timeline. Then make sure the solid color is selected on the timeline and go over to the inspector. Select the color box to open up the pop-up. Select the white color over here in the bottom right corner and click OK. Now go back to the toolbox and select Video Transitions. Drag the dip to color dissolve to either the end of your clip or between the clip and the solid color, it doesn't really matter. Ok, now when I play this back, it fades to white without any weird fading to black. To decrease how long the white screen stays at the end, just drag the end of your solid color clip to decrease its duration. And to change the speed of your fade, just hover over the transition and either drag it to the left to make it bigger which will slow down the fade, or drag it to the right to make it smaller which will speed up the fade. You can also add the dip to color dissolve between two clips like this if you want to fade to white between clips. Or you can add it to the beginning of your video. Keep in mind that it'll do that weird thing where it fades from black to white first, so if you don't like that, add a solid white color before the start of your video. Like before, you can do this by going to Generators and dragging the solid color effect before the start of your video. Change the solid color to white in the inspector. And I'm just going to decrease the duration of my solid white color and move all my clips back together. Then add the dip to color dissolve transition between your solid color and your starting video clip. It's really important that you add the dip to color dissolve after you add the solid color or the effect won't work right. Okay, now that looks much better. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.